Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Fuel of Wellness. Looking a little less awake because <laughs> we just got up. And today, we have a video for you. We are gonna be filming all day long, all about our daily intake and what we eat in a day and how we do it and why we do it and just the whole system. So I'm gonna take you from breakfast to our mid-morning snack, to our lunch, to our afternoon snack, to our workout uh, routine and kind of the supplements we take within that and the supplements we take all day long as well as dinner and then our last meal of the day right close to bedtime. So we hope this helps. We hope you enjoy it and uh, let's get the day started. first before we even head downstairs we always keep water beside the bed so that we have water to drink and we can down at least hopefully 20 ounces of water every morning I'll be honest I'm not always the best at doing this first thing in the morning because I'm like <laughs> trying to stay awake <laughs> or get uh, to the point of being awake so Trent usually downs his um, pretty quickly, um, but it takes me a couple minutes to kind of get some down. Um, and then I get coffee started, and then we get breakfast going. So, um, we do have a few supplements that go along with our breakfast, and I'll explain those as we go. Our coffee's all ready. Uh, this is for both of us, not just for one of us, but I can say probably, we've probably both finished a pot of coffee before. Um, but Trent drinks his coffee black. I like to drink this sweet and creamy almond silk, uh, almond creamer. So put a little creamer in. Ooh, I've been a little too much. That's okay, this is kind of a big cup, so that'll be all right. I like to use this as part of my sugar intake in the morning versus like eating a whole piece of fruit because um, I need my coffee in the morning. So oats and coffee, that is my every single day. Every single day. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> what you got? El carnitine and I'm not, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Acai. 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 <laughs> Organic. What is this? Energy Superfoods. He drinks this every single morning. So he takes a scoop of his L-carnitine. We actually both do this every morning. Take a scoop of L-carnitine, put it in a glass. He fills it with juice. I just fill mine with water and take it like a shot because it's it's not, it doesn't taste terrible, but it's real bitter to me. So, um, but he'll drink the whole thing. So this is how he starts his morning every single day. L-carnitine and Acai, is that the brand, I think, or? No, some Sambazon, Sambazon, something. Uh, but it's organic, it's really good. It's got all really, really great things in it. So check that out. Okay, so our breakfast, each of us are totally different. Completely different when it comes to breakfast. So I've already went through my breakfast spiel, which is pretty boring compared to Trance. So what? What do you have for breakfast every Monday? I have a lot of protein. Um, two eggs. That was a third cup of egg whites, which equals about four egg whites. I'm just lazy and don't want to have to sit them out, and honestly, I'm not good at it. 
Um, so about six eggs total, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, around about, just like I said, two, two full eggs and then four egg whites. And then I do a piece of whole wheat toast. This is the one we found we really, 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 really like. Yeah. We also like Dave's Killer Bread, but yeah. we didn't find the uh, whole wheat that we were looking for this time in the store, so we went with this, but and it's really good bread. Put some homemade preserves on top or figs. Oh, if you don't know what figs on the, are. If you don't know what fig preserves are, um, it's a southern staple. Yep. And then I just put a lot of... I don't even know how much cheese I put on my eggs. Though. I would say you put about a fourth of a cup. Probably, Probably about a fourth of a cup. Yep. He likes the sharp cheddar. Um, yep. And then a piece of fruit, which this is a plum, but usually I do like a plum or a peach. Or right, we've got apples, we've got grapefruit. We use, we have bananas usually a lot of times. So it doesn't matter what kind of fruit, you just go with whatever fruit we yeah, have on hand, it's right? It's a huge piece because my goal in the morning is to get out the door so right this takes about five minutes to cook right literally. not a lot of time and you don't have to scramble them right you could always just yeah. fry them just change it up don't get bored right and if you don't want toast i usually wrap those in a tortilla like a burrito change and up your carb source yeah. yeah so we don't have anything green for breakfast um i know that's kind of surprising for some people especially knowing me but a lot of that throughout the day <laughs> but we eat a lot of greens throughout the day so just carbs and protein for breakfast every morning he doesn't always like to share his breakfast routine but it usually involves um your science diet food and hoping that a lizard comes through the window <laughs> you can tell he's a uh, pretty camera shy too he's focused we're still home we are getting ready to get dinner in the crock pot uh trent is working on his snack our mid-morning snack it's time for that um so we're gonna show you uh we both do different things so trent does a certain thing for his mid-morning snack i go super simple um and then typically on well i won't say typically but um we usually come home from the gym in the afternoon and get dinner cooked and everything, but tonight we're gonna put it in the crock pot because it's a weekend night and um, it's raining and storming outside. And so I don't know about you, but we're ready for fall soups and meals. So we're gonna throw um, a simple soup together for dinner tonight. So let's show you the snack first and then we'll show you what we're gonna put in the crock pot for dinner. First things first, before, in between, when you're done, whatever. Uh, green tea again, we take this twice a day. So it's time to take those now. And general reminder, get your water in. Drink a crap ton of water during the day. We both shoot for at least 100 ounces, at least. Um, but that's what we shoot for. Uh, we try to go over that. Um, Y'all know I love my hydro jug and I drink out of that. Uh, on the daily, but if I'm at home, I usually just like to drink out of a water. Let's talk about your snack first. So okay. we got the green tea. What you got for your snack? I do the protein shake. Okay. Jim. Jim is what we both do. This one is the banana cream pie. It's so good. Yep. So just one scoop of protein, and then I do eight ounces ish of Faye, which we do zero percent just because no fat. Yeah. Um, no fat five grams of sugar and 18 grams of protein. That's in three fourths of a cup. So I've got a little bit more than that, but um, probably about 20 grams of protein there. I do a tablespoon of natural honey, local. Yeah, and always local. Why do we do local honey? Allergies, you know, the bee pollen. I don't really, I'm not like Well, let's, let's just put it this way. For um, homegrown honey, wherever you live, find homegrown honey. Whatever is in the air that you breathe every single day, it's important to find honey that is pollinated. <laughs> What's the right word? I don't know the right word. That's made, technically, by the bees that fly around your town. <laughs> that sounds really, really stupid and simple, but that, that's it. Then handful of berries, and that's it for mid-morning. Right. We like fresh berries, but we also keep frozen berries on hand because like today... Right now. We ran out of blueberries, fresh ones. So we're using, um, That's Sam's. Sam's, yeah, this is like, this was a huge bag. We've had this one for, I don't know, months. 
probably five months, um, and we're still going on it. So Trent does yogurt yep. every mid morning. This is his routine. So he does a scoop of protein powder in um, his blender cup, drinks that separately, and then he does the yogurt with the honey, the berries, um, and green tea. Go but ahead. The brand of yogurt's the most important thing, right? Because I mean, sugar intake. Yeah. If you get like um, the one that has the pre-mixed sugar and all that in it, right. it's it's you don't get the benefits. Right. From it, so. What are the ingredients of the sugar? Uh, grade A pasteurized skim milk, and then you've got your prebiotics and probiotics, and that's, that's it. it. Three fourths yeah. of a cup is um, 90 calories. Don't look at the calories though. We're in a phase right now where we are trying to um, cut and build muscle at the same time. Um, it is a slow process. Don't try to do this. Um, I'm gonna put this down because my arms are getting tired. Don't try to do this super um, quickly. Um, cutting does not mean losing weight, technically. Um, losing fat. You're losing fat. You're losing, now, neither one of us, I just wanna make this clear too. Neither one of us think we're fat. Let's just put that, let's put that out of the way. Um, but in a journey of cutting or bulking, like they all have a purpose and um, we always do cutting phases, um, especially when we've gone through a phase like we just did with quarantine where the food shortage sometimes was a challenge. And so we had to kind of back down off of some of the things that we did on a daily basis. So we're getting back on track with that. Now for me, for my snack, I simply just do a protein shake. Um, I'm not weak. I'm not weak. Uh, yogurt just doesn't do well with my stomach. As soon as I eat yogurt, um, I literally bloat to the point where I look like I'm six months pregnant, and that is not a lie. Is that a lie? No. That's not a lie. Okay. I put walnuts or almonds in the yogurt. Okay, we have raw almonds on hand, so that's what we're using right now. Um, but whatever nuts we have on hand, walnuts or almonds, and make sure they're raw, unsalted. You also use... The cocoa almonds too. Yes. But that's later in the day. We'll talk about it later in the day. They taste better. They taste better. Yes, they do. Um, and it kind of puts your sugar and your fat together, yeah. which is even better. So we'll get to that later. But we're going to have our snack. We're going to let it digest a little bit. And then we are headed to the gym. It's time to sweat. So here's what we've got going on for dinner. I don't have a recipe. I'm not going by anything specific. Um, I'm just going to put a simple soup in the crock pot. So I've got some chicken breast, organic boneless skinless chicken breast. These came from Trader Joe's. I like these because they're individually wrapped. So if you don't want to use all of them, you can just take a couple out, use them, and then put the rest in your fridge or your freezer and you haven't ruined the entire pack. I've got a couple of organic red potatoes. We've got some organic baby bell and mushrooms. I'm gonna slice those, take the stems off. Of course, we've got some no salt, no salt added, diced tomatoes. I'm gonna throw those in if you have regular tomatoes, you can do that too. I've got an organic butternut squash. This is like a medium to small one. Um, we've got some organic vegetable broth. I've got three zucchini. This one snapped directly in half. Um, we've got some tri-colored um, whole carrots. So I'm gonna slice these up. Not exactly sure how I'm gonna do the carrots yet, but I'm not gonna put them in whole. And then I've got a little bit of parsley. So this is gonna be our dinner. Throw it in the crock pot and it'll be ready for dinner. Here's how this is gonna go. So I've got my chicken breast in there. There was only three in that pack. So I put all three in and then I'm gonna add my no salt added diced tomatoes, juice and all. And I'm just gonna throw those right on top. So chicken's gonna go in the bottom first. Also recommend that you get one of these crock pot bags because this is gonna help your cleanup and make your life so much easier. I diced, I sliced the zucchini and then I diced them, threw those right on top of the tomatoes. Super simple and now we're gonna head and do the exact same thing to the potatoes and to the butternut squash. Next item of business, I'm gonna add two garlic cloves. And these are pretty large ones. I'm just gonna bust those open, get those minced really, really well. And we're gonna add the garlic cloves and a little bit of ground black peppercorn on top of our uh, diced potatoes before we go any farther. So a little ground peppercorn and two large garlic cloves. Next 
thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove all of the stems from the inside of these, I almost called them bell peppers, <laughs> these mushrooms. And then I'm just gonna slice them um, in small slices this way. And then I'll turn them around and probably go this way too. All right, y'all, we've got our butternut all sliced up on top. Our mushrooms are on top. So um, it's literally just a layering game. So now I've got all of the carrots and I'm gonna leave these carrots just sliced. I'm not gonna dice them. And I'm just gonna throw them right on top as well. And I may have gotten a few too many carrots, so I didn't use them all. Um, I only used three whole carrots, slice those in on top. Now I'm gonna take um, just a little bit of this parsley and uh, slice it up and mince it pretty well. Uh, add that on top and then we'll add a little bit of our organic vegetable broth. Set it on about six hours on low or four hours on high if you wanna get it done pretty quick. But six hours on low should do it and now it's just a waiting game. Okay, y'all, so we went to the gym, ran a couple of errands and did a couple of things and then um, completely forgot to show you lunch. So um, I'm just gonna show you what our typical lunch may look like. If it's not leftovers like we're doing in the crock pot for dinner, it's usually things like one of these whole wheat tortillas. Um, and then we'll take uh, a tablespoon to two tablespoons of paleo, or not paleo, um, Whole30 mayo, and then a can of albacore tuna in water with no salt added. It's really boring, not a whole lot of things um, in it, but it works and it's delicious and it does the job. And this is the mayo that we use. It's the Primal Kitchen Mayo Real Mayonnaise with avocado oil. It's um, certified paleo, keto certified, whole 30, no soy or canola, cage-free eggs, and it is sugar-free. So that's what we do. And then I'll usually add some of this spring mix salad um, to it. Just regular spring mix salad. And then Trent usually adds some cheddar cheese to his. So like I said, really boring but that's typically what we do on a day-to-day -day basis for lunch because it's quick. You can throw it together really fast um, and you can take it on the go. Dinner is all ready. We just took the chicken out, the three chicken breasts out of the bottom, took them out, shredded it up, and then put them back in and our soup's ready. So we're gonna eat dinner now. I'm gonna show you a little bit about our supplements, talk about those and why we take each one and when we take each one and then we'll wrap this thing up. Okay, so we're done with dinner. Now we're gonna explain the supplements that we take, why we take them, um, and exactly when we take them um, each time of day. Because there's a lot here, <laughs> and it's um, the protein's over there. We'll get the protein in a second. We don't take every single one of these like six times a day or anything like that. And I know a lot of people think supplements like you have to take them a ton and that's totally not the case so do you want to take over we're gonna i think maybe we should go through each one okay. and say what it is first and then then go from there can do that we'll just kind of go in order for what we start the day with okay uh so first thing in the morning <clears throat> that one we take l-carnitine and green tea extract. And both of these, um, so green tea is basically a, uh, a natural way to jumpstart your metabolism. Um, it's, it aids in fat burning um, along with L-carnitine, which is why we take them together. So L-carnitine also improves, or it really jumpstarts your energy for the day. Um, and first thing in the morning, your metabolism 
is <clears throat> at its peak. Yep. It's at its highest. So if you get something like this in first thing, about 30 minutes before you eat anything, eat breakfast, you can actually feel it too. Like, and I don't mean like a, it's not a bad feeling by any means, but you can tell, like if you were to not take this one day and the next day take it, you can definitely tell a difference in your digestion and in, you know, how fast you get hungry the yep. next time too, for yep. sure. Yeah, so that's these two, fat loss or fat burning, mm -hmm. energy, metabolism. And that's this, these are capsules too. Um, they're like little, you know, little capsules. Oh, can you see it? Sorry. Little capsules. Um, and this is Should be one, one capsule is a serving. We usually take two of these, right? <clears throat> yeah, we do. We actually do two first thing in the morning and then two for the mid morning snack. With the mid morning. So we're snack. getting about a thousand milligrams a day. Right. Depends and, what you're trying to accomplish. Right. So we're, everybody's different. So we're not saying like, go do this. No. We're just saying that this is what we do as an example. And then the L-carnitine is actually a powder. Um, it kind of has like a salt texture. Well, that's because of the brand. Right. Um, but there's a little scoop inside and this little scoop is probably like maybe a teaspoon. Yeah, I'm probably. not really 100%. I think it's a teaspoon. So we put that, <coughs> Trent puts it in his juice in the morning, which we talked about earlier um, yeah. today at and breakfast. we like this brand. It's yes. called Raw Chem Labs or Beyond Raw Chemistry Labs. Mm -hmm. um, we get this at GNC, yep. but I'm sure they have it at other places, but we just purchase it. Because if you look at the other ingredients. That's probably gonna be hard it. to tell. Just read it off. Uh, none, so <laughs> you get what you pay yeah, for. Exactly, good stuff. Definitely go with that. So <clears throat> there's the green tea and L-carnitine. So <clears throat> we talk about gym a lot. We use a lot of gym products. Yeah, yeah. we do. One of our favorites. Mm -hmm. And so just like how the green tea and L-carnitine went together, this is our fish oil and CLA. CLA, the acronym stands for conjugated lineolic acid. Mm -hmm. um, fish oil, and we actually used to take what's called cod liver oil, which is a liquid fish oil, but it's your DHA, what are the three types? DHA, EPA, mm. and DPA. All right, so I those are just the so. three type of, you know, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids that you need for brain function, heart function, all in one. brain, heart, really overall intestines, overall right. health, joint health. Um, that's what it's fish oils do. It's basically recovery in a nutshell. And preventative it's, maintenance for the long term. Right. So fish oil is one thing, even if you're not working out, um, right. I would take it. Right. It's they good. are pretty <clears throat> massive. I'm not really good at taking uh, capsules, but these are pretty big, um, but they go down really smooth. So yep. it takes a little effort for me, but they go down pretty smooth. We take this when? We do it uh, two at lunch, so or two, two pills at lunch. Mm -hmm. I, hate, I don't like using the word pills. Let's do capsules. Two yeah. capsules at lunch and then two capsules at dinner. Right. So we always take it with food. We just took two capsules of those, yeah. and then we also take two capsules of CLA. And CLA is, um, it's another type of fatty acid, so let me get this right. What we take here, the EPA, DHA, DPA, those are omega-3s, mm -hmm. your CLAs are your omega-6s, and it also aids in fat loss. So. And these are also the same size as the other ones. <clears throat> They're pretty hefty. Um, but just straight off the bottle too, it says improves lean muscle tone, fuels energy, uh, and fat metabolism without stimulants. Okay. But find things that don't have stimulants for sure because that's extra added stuff that you don't need and it's kind of defeating the point of even taking it. Also, just a note, this is not um, like medically subscribed or anything like that. These are all over the counter at any of your nutritional stores, GNC. Pretty sure you can probably find all this on um, Amazon too, probably. Yep. Um, so again, we're not telling you to go take these things. This is just what we're doing. And then we're gonna, once we talk through all of these supplements, we'll tell you why we're actually taking those. Yep. All right, the last two. Really I'm gonna last take one. these while we, while we talk through the rest. Okay, so. Also another gym product, um, this is our post-workout, our 
mine, mm -hmm. trying to get you to take it. Mm -hmm. So um, there are a lot of different options when it comes to post-workouts that you could do. Um, the big hitters in this one are obviously BCAAs, which is your branch chain amino acids. Which beta, also helps in recovery. Beta alanine, glutamine, um, creatine, which that's what this is. And this is another Beyond Raw Chem Labs. Um, I don't take those together. Usually on days where we don't work out, I don't take the post-workout. I just take creatine and mix it with regular BCAAs. I do not take <coughs> creatine. Anybody can take it. Um, I just don't take it just because there's certain things with my stomach that just don't do well. Um, so that's just the bottom line as to why I don't take it. So this is not just a male product. Everybody thinks creatine, like this is what makes women um, get bulky, <laughs> like lifting heavy weights. False, that's not true. He's trying to get me to take the post-workout and the only, my downfall, and we've had a lot of talks about this, my downfall with this is um, we drink so much before and during our workout that right directly after, I'm almost so full of liquid that it's hard to put something extra into me. But I'm gonna try to start doing better at that and try to find a balance between um, everything. Cause I usually like to drink my protein throughout my workout, but lately I've been drinking it as a mid-morning snack. So then I don't have one during my workout. I just drink my water during workout. I mean of everything that we're showing you right now, right. the two most important will be your fish oils and this. Right. Because right after a workout, your body's starving. It needs certain nutrients and certain supplements. <laughs> no. But this is not so much for your stomach. Right. Okay, this is not a meal replacement. No. It's not protein. No. This is what your body's gonna thank you for the next day. Right. So after a hard workout, what it needs to recover, what it needs to support lean muscle growth, that's what this is for. Right. This does not build muscle. I just want a disclaimer for that too. <clears throat> it does not build muscle. It just aids you in helping recover so that your muscles are better the next day um, versus not. There are the supplements that we take um, and when we take them. I know it seems like a lot and this is not for everybody, that's for sure. And we don't, it's not like we take all of these supplements every day of the no, year. This no. is just for- Certain seasons. The goal right? and the program that we're doing right now, yeah. this is what we see fit for our right. meal plans. We also have diet. And we do a lot of stuff, like things like this in our, our workout plans, they're, they're all the <coughs> same. Like we do the same stuff. So we're not doing separate workout plans for a female or for a male, we're doing the same workout plans. Um, now our bodies react differently because we are different genetics and we're different genders and all of that and that's going to play into it of course but um our workout plans all go together so we uh for the most part take all the same supplements because of that and the season that we're in right now we're going through a cutting phase and if you're unfamiliar with what would i say like fitness lingo i guess is what we could go with a cutting phase is um it's not to lose weight but it is to cut fat. So that's in a nutshell exactly what it means. You're just cutting excess fat. We're not saying we're fat. That is not how that works. It's just you're cutting extra fat to actually show the muscle that you do have while still building more muscle along the way. We've done this program before and then since quarantine and COVID and all of that, um, we felt like it was time to do it again mm -hmm. because we kind of took a little bit of a hiatus on doing like a strict plan during all that because we didn't have access to our gym and all that. So yeah. now that we do, it's time to get back in the groove. And this worked for us, which is why we're showing right. now. Right. Because it, it didn't upset our stomachs. Right. Um, no bad side effects, no mm -hmm. nothing with our sleep. Um, right. So I don't know, it's just pretty yeah. concrete. I have a lot of digestive issues and we've talked about that before, but with me, I was a little nervous that all of this stuff was gonna bother me or be too much on my stomach or interfere with, you know, being able to eat throughout the day. And it doesn't at all. It actually helps because I'm eating, what are we doing, six, seven meals a day, technically? Mm -hmm. So we have breakfast, we have mid-morning snack, we have lunch, we have afternoon snack. 
Uh, technically, we have workout, which is a supplement, not really a meal. But um, then we have dinner, and then we have another meal, right, technically before bed. We usually eat it like two <clears throat> hours after we have dinner. So now, we just had dinner, so two hours from now, we'll have another snack. And ice cream, because it's Saturday. It's our cheat day. So, <laughs> ice cream is obviously your favorite. Yeah. So, we'll probably go get some ice cream. And guess what? We're going to share it. So we hope this helps. Uh, oh, the other thing we didn't show, we didn't show you the protein. Let me get the protein over here. So our protein, um, of course is Jim, cause we love Jim, but this is the Tahitian vanilla pro Jim. Um, they do have, we tried the banana cream pie. Mm -hmm. Like that one a lot. It's kind of like a banana pudding. Um, what's the other chocolate? We've tried chocolate. We've tried peanut, peanut butter, butter cup. Our chocolate peanut butter cup. Uh, Stick with the vanilla. I, I feel like if you're looking to mix it with anything or just not get bored, yeah, just great. stick with the vanilla. I love the chocolate peanut butter cup to put in my oats because vanilla sometimes gets a little boring. Honestly, this is this is the favorite flavor. Yep. It's really, really good. And disclaimer, uh, we don't know near as much about this stuff as Jim Stefani does. So right. So he explains it a lot better than we do. Yeah, so if you want more info on that, yeah, go so to his website. If you really website. want some educational advice, I would check him out. <laughs> yeah, check him out. He's got some great workout plans too yeah. that, um, that we've also done that we really enjoy. So uh, we're PhD. not sponsored or anything by any means. This is just stuff that we enjoy, that we use, and we get asked all the time, yeah. like, what do you eat? And how do you eat it? And how in the world do you eat six times a day, like six meals a day? Don't overthink it. You don't have to um, spend $500 a week on groceries. Um, we spent, what did we spend this week on groceries? Like 120 bucks. 20 bucks. Now, I know there's only two of us, but I promise you, we don't eat for two people. We eat for at least a family of four every week. And our groceries are cleaned out, and we have to go and grab groceries again. Healthy eating does not have to be expensive. Yeah. You don't have to overthink it for your food to be delicious, for it to work. Um, we, both of us, don't mind getting bored every day before we eat. Um, and sometimes we are boring. We just don't. You know, we've got to get food in our body. We've got to get fuel in our body. And as long as we do that, a lot of the times we don't even care what, you know, if the taste is there or you not. You know me, you know that I cook a lot and I enjoy cooking and um, flavor is important. So if it's important to you, don't overthink it. Just do small things every day that help you get your fuel in. And eat whole foods. That's the biggest thing. Just eat whole foods. Uh, anything else that we missed? Well, I mean... I would say, being that we're talking supplements, if you're new to it, just start start small, baby yeah. steps. Don't be, jump into it. Be very, um, if you're going to be picky about anything, be picky about the supplements that you put into your body. It's not replacements, they're supplements. Right. Do not <coughs> buy the cheapest thing you can find uh, because that's not always the best way to go. Like, you, you definitely, with supplements and things like this that are going into your body, um, sometimes it's... There's no other way to say it. Like, don't spare an expense. Supplements aren't the cheapest things in the world, but uh, gym supplements go on sale a lot. Um, and that's another thing why we love them, because their subs go on sale a lot. And then um, everybody pretty much has a GNC. So, and that's where we go and get ours, because GNC is closest to us. Anything else to do with supplements? No, I'm no? good. Anything else to do with food? Enjoy your cheap meals. <laughs> this boy wants some ice cream. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoy this. We hope this helps. Um, we're trying our best to, um, you know, show you how we do things and then, you know, don't model what we do because we're doing things that fit into our routine and for the goals that we have. So only do things that fit into the goals that you have and then everything else will fall into place. It doesn't happen overnight. It's a, it never gets easier. You never have to stop fighting for it. You have to fight for it every day. So again, we hope this helps. We hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching if you have. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that so that you can uh, be notified every time we post something, which is weekly. Right now, we'll probably do more later on, but right now it's just weekly. 
and uh, let us know what you think. Let us know what supplements you enjoy. If there's something that we haven't tried or haven't said that you um, you found that works for you, let us know. We're always up for hearing about new stuff. So have a great rest of your weekend. Fuel up and anything else? Ice cream time. Ice cream time. We'll talk to you soon. See you.